Okay, so let's have a look at uh, another code example, this time I've written in uh, BBC Basic. I opened it in my favorite editor, which is StrongEd, but you can use any editor. The first line uh, shows simply the name of the file. On the second line, we have stored a state, which uh, we treat as a Boolean, and we preset it to true. We will need that to um, alternate between the output tick and talk. Next, we created an infinite loop using repeat and until. Now, when we use until false, that means the loop will never end. Then we set a variable x, an integer variable, to the uh, current time. It follows with a case statement where we evaluate state. And as said before, when the value of state is true, then we will print tick on the console. Otherwise, we will print talk. What we do next is we invert the state of state. And then we will call a procedure, which I named toggle caps lock. To have more information and details on what this procedure does, please have a look at the programming reference manual. Number one, page 883 on the chapter character input. However, what we do here, we call an SVI or syscall on RISCOS Osbyte, which has number six in, ex in hexadecimal. We pass the value 202, and then we specify that we want to alter the value of the uh, fourth bit with a mask 255. This will invert or toggle the state of the caps lock on the keyboard. However, that doesn't actually update the state of the LED. So next, we need to call another OSBite related um, syscall, which is number 118. All this is fully documented on the PRM. At the end of it, we will return and we create a sub loop that simply waits roughly one second. When this expires, it will repeat the main loop. So let's have a look at how it works when we execute it. So we can see it's printing on the screen tick, tock, tick, tock, every, roughly every second. And if we look at the keyboard, the caps lock LED is flashing at the same rhythm as it's printing tick, tock on the console. 